We went to JAWS. A lot has been done by the military in many areas, starting from Congo, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and most of these things have not been captured. The agreement permits the Nigerian film industry to use the correct portraiture of the armed forces in filmmaking. First, we are going to start with a documentary, uh, with a, a future film on the life and time of Abu Ali, Lieutenant Colonel Abu Ali, who fought in the Northeast. And secondly, we are going to do a documentary about our exploits in uh, Liberia, which took place around the 90s. The Chief of Defense Civil Military Relations, Habik Ngalabak, says the film corporation will get all the necessary support. The apparatus and the equipment they are going to use are not in the general market. So we are ready to supply these logistics and equipment that they will require. We have a military backing. We don't have most of the hardware. And the military, they have some of the hardware. Some of them are not in service again. That is, they are not being used. But they can be used for movies. Because they have this MOU, they can, they can make it available, some of the tanks that are not in service, for movies, which ordinarily it will not be accessible to, to the movie producers. Today, what we have seen here between NFC and Defense Headquarters is going to also come into operation following closely the existing template between Pentagon and Hollywood. The film corporation says it will launch its first two documentaries on January 15 to commemorate the Nigerian Armed Forces Day. Ogie, Ihimekmen, AIT News, Abuja.